So we're talking with Cheryl Woods today about the OCO Historic Topographic Map Digitization Project, which is an endeavor to preserve and provide broad access to historical topographical maps covering Ontario. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Um, I have five questions I'm going to ask you, starting with, what was the inspiration for this project? Well, early topographic maps are heavily used by historians and researchers um, interested in examining change over time. And these maps provide historical snapshots that can be used to identify and highlight issues such as shoreline erosion, urban sprawl, transportation growth, diminishing woodlots, and disappearing waterways. The Oakle Historical Topographic Map Digitization Project is a way to preserve and provide broad access to historical topographic maps covering Ontario between 1906 and 1977 at the scales of 25,000 and 63,360. And can you tell us more about Western's specific contributions to the project? Well, Western played a key role in a few ways. The first one was I was beginning a two-year term as moderator of the OCO Geo community when we decided to submit a proposal for the funding of this collaborative project. The Map and Data Center also holds hundreds of these maps in its collection, and Western Libraries was considering purchasing a 56-inch wide format scanner at that time, which it did eventually buy, and that scanner got a really good workout during the project. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite map in the collection? I don't have a favorite map in the project's collection of almost 1,100 maps that were scanned and georeferenced, but I do have an appreciation for the enormous amount of detail that the 63360 series has. The span of production of that series was between 1906 and 1953, and the map legend differentiates between stone and wood buildings, whether churches had spires, if bridges were steel, wood, or brick, and types of mills, railways, and roads. And what was the biggest challenge you faced working on this project? Although the Map and Data Center holds hundreds of the maps that were used for this project, finding as many editions of each map sheet that we knew to exist posed some challenges. After consulting with all of the Ontario University map collections, I then reached out to others across Canada, which included the Archives of Ontario, Library and Archives Canada, Natural Resources Canada, and the University of Alberta, which has the largest academic map collection in Canada. And what is your proudest achievement related to this project? Well, the ultimate goal was to create and provide access through Scholars Geo Portal to a high quality, consistent digital collection that provides, preserves historical topographic information and meets the needs of the current and future users. We accomplished all of this within the two and a half year project period and under budget since the scanning was done gratis here and at McMaster and Waterloo. The maps may be viewed or downloaded and the metadata for each map sheet is provided. The complete public domain collection is an excellent resource for researchers to explore Ontario's past and examine its growth over time. Wonderful. Cheryl, thank you for meeting with me today to answer these questions. You're very welcome.